Uh, so let's start with basic sample project and let's examine Revit interface. So uh, it has ribbon style and the main part of your interface is a ribbon. Ribbon is a place where all your options are placed with different tabs. Architecture allow you to create your architectural object structure, structural, insert. Uh, it's a tool, uh, it's a tab when we can uh, set a link to any file or, or where you can import it. Annotate its annotations, dimensions, detailing, text and text. Analyze allows you to perform energy an anal analysis. Messing is site. Messing it's just uh, create a mess, uh, simply uh, a complex form and then uh, based create architectural objects based on it and tools for surface, top of surface. Collaboration it's a possibility to work in one file with your colleagues uh, and also there, uh, there are tools to work with linked file. On a view, different tools to work with view, to set your view, uh, to turn on, turn off thin lines, to render, to create any new view, create your sheets and so on. On the manage tab, uh, main options to set up your project, uh, project settings, project location, project units uh, and so on. On add-in tab different tool with different tools which uh, installed over your Revit. For example, I have just Autodesk Chronicle installed. It's a feature to uh, to record and share your uh, your screen in the internet. And modify it's a tab where you can uh, you can modify your objects. It's just uh, tools to edit your objects. So uh, the top used tools you can add to quick access bar on the top of your Revit window. There is a quick access bar. You can pick any tool and say add to quick access bar. Here it is. So uh, on the right side of your Revit window there is info center where you can find something, sign in into uh, Autodesk, go to exchange apps, help and so on. Uh, on the left side there are properties, bar and uh, project browser. Properties allow you to work with properties of any of your objects. For example, I picked a roof. Here it is, our, pro our properties. Uh, when is uh, when anything is not checked, I have a pro properties of my view. And uh, below we have project browser. Project browser it's a uh, it's a center where all of our data is presented. Because really we have just one model, not in like AutoCAD where, where we have um, many different plans, sections, views, uh, sheets and so on. In Revit it's just one model and all data, is, all data is a representation of our model. So it's all uh, kept in your project browser. You can open any your view here it is and uh, there are a lot of different features and sometimes when you start to create new ones you'll uh, receive uh, new groups here for example if I say I want to create 
new uh, I suppose for example legend I have new item here uh, if I start to create new drafting queue I'll, I'll receive a new group drafting queue if I'll delete all sections I'll have no group section so uh, in the main part of window we have drawing area where we can work with windows it's very easy and uh, I have a lot of windows tile ZA ZA to zoom all data on every window and free uh, view and I say close hidden here it is below your ribbon uh, you have options bar when you start to work with different things for example with walls architecture wall in this bar you'll receive your main options the same options you can see in your properties bar but sometimes for example when you work with uh, modifying features you can uh, on in this bar you can set it its properties every view has view control bar this bar allows you to set your scale to set your uh, detail level to set your graphic style turn on turn off shadows crop view and so on and in the bottom part of Revit window you have your uh, status bar when you uh, when you can see uh, different information for example when you move your mouse over different objects you will receive what it is uh, under your mouse uh, then we will work with key tab uh, which helps us to uh, check multiple objects and uh, in this status bar you can see different information what is checked for example when you have in the same place a wall and a grid uh, with status bar you can uh, easily define what you want to uh, check to pick so this is all information about Autodesk Revit interface and in the next video we will start with the clean project and we will work with grids, with levels, walls and so on.